Yes, you read the title right. I do learn a lot from Li Lu Show. I haven't watched the show yet, the Chuang Zhaoying Erling Erli, but you know I have watched a couple clips from him, and I just like him a lot. He's so special. For those of you who don't know who he is, he's from a show called Chuang Zhaoying Erling Erli. It's basically like a talent show. He was supposed to be a Chinese tutor for a couple of foreign trainees, but before the show officially started, the crew basically like. Do you want to join the show? He didn't want to go at the beginning because he's just not into joining a idol group or not. After the crew asked him over and over again, he finally said yes. Not because he changed his mind, like I want to be an idol now. The only reason why he want to go is just because he want to give it a try, you know, getting some new experience. But also because of the show is so competitive, so he didn't expect he gonna stay that long. Perhaps just one or two weeks, and then he can go home. Unfortunately, his plan. Didn't go well. But the reason why I want to talk about him today is not because he went viral in China. His objective of going home as soon as possible hasn't changed at all, regardless how much trash ends and how famous he became, which is something that is really hard for most of us, especially in an environment that. Everyone is so competitive, and want to be in the idol group so badly. 没有人不喜欢人气，但是一没人气我做不了，所以很复杂，不让我做，怎么办？你现在会为了人气留下来吗？这我不会，我已经太老。And that is the reason I want to talk about him today. Because to be honest with you guys, from the past few weeks, I constantly comparing myself to other people's after getting more tractions and getting more views and likes and more subscribers. Especially looking at my own analytic and comparing to other people, and it just make me feel really bad. I constantly look at people who are doing way better than I do, and what topics are they doing, and then asking myself, should I do that too? Sometimes I would be like, I should make a video that get a lot of likes or a lot of views, but not thinking about making content that I like. I need to remember what is the purpose of you know becoming an upper or YouTuber, creating meaningful content, not because of all the likes and views and. Comments and you know everything. Another reason why I want to share with you guys today is because I know a lot of you guys also struggle with that. Oh, there's a guy or girl got 3.8 GPA, and look at me, I only have like 3.3, 3.4, or even 2.0 GPA. We often comparing ourselves to others in a toxic way. You don't have to follow the trends. You don't have to follow what other people are doing, or just change your objective of doing something just because everybody is doing that and everybody is. Want to be an idol group, so I want to be in that group too, without realizing what is your true objective. Don't follow the trends; be the one who start the trends. Until next one, bye bye.